uh, just a couple of days ago that we kicked off this Kansas City bone in ham. Just in time for your Easter and springtime celebration, and we bring it to you at a really remarkable price. But I will tell you, since Friday, we've taken orders for 3,000 of these. We're shipping either immediately or April the 6th. There is an auto delivery where you'll do two total shipments for spring now and then November before Thanksgiving. Ralph Pallarino, Chef Ralph Pallarino from <laughs> Kansas City is here. It's always good to have you back. How buddy. are you? Good to see I'm you. well, thank you. I hope right. you are. I'm great. So this is exciting because what we're talking about is a fully cooked ham, seven and a quarter to eight and a half pounds. They'll vary between that range. Yep. Yep. Feeding about 10 to 14 people, Ralph. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's great. It's this is one of our I have to say, it's, this has been the star of the weekend. Everyone's been saying how great this ham is because it's a special ham, David. And let me tell you why. First of all, this comes from the Missouri Ozarks in Kansas. Very special source we have. And then it is brined, it is bathed in brown sugar and honey for several days. We're not in a hurry to get this out the door, David. And what does that do? What does that bathing do? Is that every bite, you're insured to get that maple syrup, that brown sugar bite. And then you know what we do? We smoke this in these state-of-the-art smokers for several hours to get that little bit of kiss of smoke. So now you have the honey, you have the brown sugar, and now you have the brown the smoke. Isn't that absolutely incredible right there? Look at that. Now, and it's we, tender. We also want to let you know that we've got a graphic to share with you, a value graphic that I think a lot of you are going to be pretty excited about. When you realize that at Kansas City Steak, Dot com. The identical hickory smoked and glazed ham was selling for nearly $90. Today we've got it at $72.74. Six easy payments and free shipping and handling. Ralph, that price expires end of day today. Yes. That means tonight. Yep. Which is why you don't want to wait on this. Go ahead and lock this in, and this will last in the freezer up to a year. A year yeah. easily. And it arrives frozen. Now, if you want to deliver it immediately, we have about 2,600 to go around. If you want April 6th, 3,500. So if you're someone that's thinking, well, I need to make a little room in my freezer before Easter, and Easter's the 12th this year of yes. April, then you'll definitely uh, maybe want to think about that second ship week, and that will buy you a little more time to free up some freezer space. Now, this is also exciting, too, because it's a bone in ham. And, Chef Ralph, when we have bone in mm -hmm. anything, yeah. where meat is concerned, we've got more flavor, right? Yeah, more flavor. And, you know, also, people don't realize is it's a natural barometer, so you don't dry out the ham. The <laughs> Did you know that? Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I'm not sure that I knew about the drying portion. Yeah. Certainly knew about the flavor part. Yeah. So, yeah, it actually keeps you from, you know, foolproof from drying this out. And this is such a tender ham, and it's actually lean, too. And a lot of hams you can't say that about, and it's not salty, David, because you have that brown sugar, the maple syrup. And just look at that. Look how juicy that is. And we literally just literally warmed it up for 30 minutes at 350 with some tin foil on it. Now, afterwards, you can actually glaze it and put it back in the oven and get a little bit of that ham candy. Now, Chef, the most important thing to remember yeah. here is that when you get this at home, you want to let this free uh, uh, thaw in the bottom of your fridge mm -hmm. for about two days, right? Yes, absolutely. And then when on the day you're ready to serve it, you want to put this into a, a pan, mm -hmm. flat side down, I'm guessing. That's right, yep. And what you're doing is just heating the ham. You're not cooking the ham. It's already cooked for you. Now, the, gla the glaze is also different this year, Chef. In it that, is, yeah. So There's no mixing to do this time. That's right. So usually you had to add a little bit of water, thin it out, thicken it up, whatever you want to do. This all you have to do is drop it in some simmering water right. or in the microwave. You snip it and squeeze. Now, I would put it in like a nice little sauce bowl for the table, obviously. I'm a dipper, so yeah. I like to take my ham pieces and dip mm -hmm. in there. But, yeah, it's absolutely easy uh, to do. And now you don't have to do any mixing on your own. Zero. And it's this all is, done for you. Yeah, and it's 90% honey. So it's really sweet. And then we hit it with a little brown sugar. So think about the flavor profile, David. I've been saying this all weekend. Basically, everyone's been agreeing with me. This tastes like bacon. This has a bacon profile. It's so rich because of that Missouri Ozark ham that we use. It's so tender, and that's where you're going to get that profile. Well, Chef Ralph, in an effort to be very yes. conscious of our situation and being as uh, careful as we can be, I have a separate tasting plate. Okay, great. Okay. So I have ham right over here. All right. So I can t do a little taste test here. Mm hmm. You're right. It does taste like bacon. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> great. Yes. Woo! That's good ham. Yeah. Mm, Thank I you. love ham. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> and you're right. It is super lean and not salty. Yeah. You know, Patty Kramer walked over here. She looked at my ham. She goes, "Is that your ham?" And I said, "Yeah. Kansas City City Company actually has ham. And as meticulous as we are about our steaks, that's how we are about our ham. So think about that. That's amazing. <laughs> this is going to be 
leftovers for the next day, making ham biscuits for breakfast, ham sandwiches for lunch. Maybe you're doing a beautiful. Oh, I've got a great recipe for um, navy bean um, and ham soup. Yep. You can do that so nicely. A split pea with that ham bone would be great. Mm -hmm. So don't miss out on this opportunity. I tell you, comfort food is king, and this is something that I've always loved yeah. my whole career in uh, in cooking on TV. So this is what it's all about: taking advantage of that great center of the table entree and serving something from a company you own know trust. Now, if you want it uh, delivered immediately. I have 2,500 to go around. If you want it April 6th, 3,300 available to go around. This price will expire end of day. Now, I know this kicked off Friday and you were enjoying it yesterday on QVC2 and seeing lots of presentations, but it will come to an end tonight. End of day today, no more pricing like this. Price shoots back up to the normal QVC price of about $88, I believe is what it says there. $89, even worse. So, this is why you want to get yours now. And what I love, Chef, is that there's yeah. no guesswork here. This ham is fully cooked and pre-sliced. Yeah, let's let's talk about that. So you get it frozen two two or three days in your refrigerator. The day of, leave it on your counter. We're right. at room temperature. Put some tin foil out at 350. Put it in the oven and walk away. Now this is fully cooked. It's spiral cut, individually spiral cut. So we took the guesswork completely out of it. In a second, I'll show you how easy it is. After you put it on your table and everyone's sitting and looking at you and you're carving, the word carving, literally. All you're going to do is listen. You're going to make some slices. I wouldn't so much say carving as I would say cutting the slices off. Yeah, the look bone. at that. So you make just a couple, like just a little bit of an incision like that. A little cut. A little cut, and then it just comes and then right these off. Great look big at that. Pieces come off. Oh, just like that. Yeah. Mashed potatoes, green beans, yams. Yep. How about some yams Ooh, up in here with that? Look at that. Wouldn't that be fantastic? That easy. Glazed carrots. Oh, and then yeast rolls. Or my mother's mayonnaise drop biscuits. Oh, so good. So this is what it's all about. I'm thinking about all this holiday meals gone by. This is M67. Does that say six? Six seven six eight zero. I don't have my uh, card in front of me. <laughs> yeah, six seven six eight zero. And you're going to love this ham, fully cooked. No work for you to do except to thaw, heat, glaze, and eat. That's the best part. Yeah. Oh, one of the questions I've gotten from our foodie friends is, can I eat this cold? I'm like, well, of course, it's fully cooked. Fully cooked. So for brunch, all you, if you th thaw this out and you basically uh, cut it up, put it in some lock and locks, and you're good for like 14 days in the refrigerator. And you can make sandwiches out of this, ham yep. biscuits, which would be my jam. Yeah. And so lots of great ideas here. But get yours while the getting is good. This is that same Kansas City spiral cut ham you've enjoyed at Christmas for years and years and years. Now we've got it for you for spring and beautiful Easter celebrations. Don't miss out on your opportunity. Chef Ralph, thank you for being here today, buddy. Thank you. It's nice to see you. you too. All right, still to come.